Dr. Mindy Pels here, and I want to share with you a study that changed the way we look at weight loss. So a lot of you guys are eating right, you're exercising all the time, and you're still not releasing weight. Well, this study was done out of Duke University just about less than a decade ago, and it, what they did and what they proved to us is that we actually, many of us, have a gene for obesity and that this gene gets triggered by toxins. So the study that was done is they took two mice, they're called agouti mice, and they're twins, they both had the gene for obesity, they fed them the same exact amount of calories, gave them the same exact amount of, of exercise, but one of the mice, they gave the, exposed them to BPA plastic. And the minute that they exposed this mouse to BPA plastic, the mouse it grew big and its hair turned yellow. So they knew immediately that there was something going on with the toxin that was causing that mouse to hold on to weight. But there, a lot of you guys have been following me, you've heard me tell you that story before, but there are two pieces of the story that if you understand this correctly, will totally transform the way that you look at weight loss. The second part of the story is once that gene had been turned on by the toxin, they decided, well, what can we do to turn the gene off? So they gave the mouse foods and supplements that were rich in what we call methyl groups. So methyl groups sit on the top of DNA and they keep a gene turned off. So they keep obesity genes turned off, they keep cancer genes turned off. And so what they had, the, the hypothesis that they had was perhaps the BPA plastic had, had demethylated this, the gene for obesity, which exposed the, the mouse to being, uh, making them obese. So what happens if we put methyl groups back in? And the minute they did that, the mouse actually lost weight and turned brown again. The other thing they were finding is that once this gene had been turned on, that this mouse would start to give birth to obese mice. And the, these mice were not even given, they were not even exposed to BPA. They were just being given the talk, they were just being born obese because the gene had been triggered. So what I, why this is so important is for a variety of reasons. One is that we now know that we can change our genes based off a of lifestyle, based off of detoxing, and based off of things as simple as getting more methyl groups into our body. Now, you might be listening to this and going, well, I don't know what a methyl group is. Well, that's what I want to teach you. And Saturday morning, this Saturday morning, I'm doing a whole event. It's called Beyond Your DNA. And I'm going to show you what foods have methyl groups in them, what supplements have methyl groups in them, how do you make sure you don't demethylate your, your genes and turn these on. I'm going to give you a very specific path for turning genes off. If you're frustrated with losing weight, this is what you need to know because you may be have you might have a gene that has been turned on. And if that gene's been turned on, you can diet and exercise all you want. You really need to figure out how to increase this methylation and restore methylation. And there's a very simple path to doing that. So join me this Saturday. I'm going to put a link at the bottom. Um, and, and you click on the link. If you have any questions about it, we're here to help you uh, and answer those questions for you. But I believe in my town there has never been an event like this done, showing people the science behind what is turning on genes and what is turning off genes. Um, and it's simple. It's not that complicated once you understand it. Okay? So I hope that helps. We do have live streaming available. We have like 10 tickets left for live streaming. So go to the Eventbrite if you're out of the area and you want to live stream it and learn how to turn the obesity gene off. You can do it. You just need the steps to do it. Have an awesome day.